What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful midweek Wednesday. Doing pretty good myself. Uh, I come across this particular story right here about these orca whales that is alleged to have attacked uh, three sailboats. Okay, And now they're being labeled the victims. Now, if you know about orca whales, they don't pretty much bother anybody that don't bother them. They're pretty much just like human beings. They're highly intelligent, okay? And uh, more than likely, you know, uh, <laughs> these ones that like to go out among the ocean, the sea, or what have you, likes to sow discord towards the animals, the residents of the water there, you know? That's basically what it boils down to. So, uh, more than likely, these wells probably were just like stirred up just like the bees were that I did last week that start stinging people out there in uh, Encino, California, okay? But, be that as it is, let's check out this video right here with Michael Strahan and let's get some uh, information about it. Then we'll get into the commentary. Now, to the killer whales that appear to be targeting boats in Europe, attacking them, and even managing to sink three. Our foreign correspondent, James Longman, has the story of what scientists think could be behind it. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Michael. Well, we call them killer whales, even though for the most part they're pretty harmless, but there have now been a series of orca attacks on boats in European waters. And they seem to be learning this aggressive behavior from one whale in particular. And her name is Gladys. This morning, the destructive behavior of one of the ocean's largest apex predators, orca whales, probably known as killer whales, have scientists and sailors on high alert. They may just be playing with us. Starting in 2020, a series of increasingly aggressive encounters off the Iberian coast has left scores of boats damaged. Three of them sunk to the ocean floor. You're looking at the last moments this Swiss luxury sailboat saw the surface. Just this month, the vessel was battered by a pod of killer whales in the Strait of Gibraltar. With the ship taking on heavy water, the crew called for help and abandoned ship. Marine scientists in Spain studying the phenomenon are now suggesting it could be a response to trauma, a kind of killer whale revenge for pain suffered from a collision with a boat or getting wounded by commercial fishing lines. Every day uh, we are thinking more and more in one of our hypotheses, that is that one orca suffered a, a traumatic event, and a, a, a female orca, and, and she only wanted to stop this boat and right now, uh, this behavior is, is spreading. Researchers have named that female orca Gladys Blanca and believe the fellow whales have adopted her aggressive behavior. The critically endangered regional subpopulation numbers fewer than 40 whales, but they pose a significant danger to ocean goers like Greg Blackburn, navigating choppy waters just this month. He was forced to hold out for over an hour as the whales targeted his boat. The noises that were making there was a boat twisting the power that these creatures possess is just, it's incredible. Take a look at this older orca and calf who take turns slamming the hull and charging the rudder, the boat limping back to port with the heavy duty hull chains completely snapped. So you can definitely see an element of education going on. It's definitely teaching, um, which is quite unnerving as a sailor because to see the next generation now is learning. It's obviously going to be a continued habit of that and within this pod. Sailors are now monitoring whale activity before they set sail in order to avoid these encounters. But that, of course, is not foolproof. Maybe this is just a lesson about humans and our impact on nature. Guys? Could be, but they are smart. Yeah. Very smart. smart. And can we just say it's a be beautiful, can we put his shot yeah. back up? Wherever you <laughs> are, it is gorgeous. He's going to have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> God, you can see the sun shining here for once. Oh. I'm, so, I'm so proud of Britain. <laughs> you picked the right day to be there. Hey, James, thank you as always. Ain't that about nothing? <laughs> now, more than likely, y'all know 
that those people went out there aggravating those whales and those whales got even with them just like they do with everything else is that not what colonizers did to america when they came here and antagonized and raped robbed pillaged stole killed and every damn thing else to the native our native ancestors of course that's just what it is which we are descendants of to this day now this is a movie clip right here of a movie that came out back in 1977 called orca yeah there it is right there <laughs> he was a victim he had a beautiful family he had a wife and a calf you understand and they was just out on their merry way one day swimming through the ocean and everything until the devil came you understand i mean and kill his wife and his calf okay and so the whale got revenge you understand he got revenge you know he even they even tried to kill the whale itself but they just couldn't do it you know what i'm saying so more than likely these are the same things that are happening to this day you know with uh these restless beings these tears of the field that like to go and destroy and deharmonize nature okay and then when nature fights back what happened what do they do they play the victim that's basically what it all boils down to there's nothing new to what we see here nothing new at all it's just that now nature is starting to turn up people are starting to turn up against this particular kind of tyranny that's going on in the world now all over the world bees whales bulls all kinds of dog attacks you know what i mean is what it is all about you understand that's and this is what it's going to be you know that's exactly what it's going to be so i want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular situation right here i'm interested in hearing your thoughts views and opinions on it in the comment section like comment share and subscribe and people please remember to live your life is so weird being watched simply because we are this is james and i'm out peace